Time to play the game! <laughs> Whoa! Ah! Ah, you fucking Jesus motherfucker! What is wrong with you? Good. Time to play the game! So what's going on, guys? So we're back for some more Detroit Become Human. So in the last episode, Connor went, just kicked his way into the evidence room. And yeah, oh, that doesn't look good. Hold on. Just let me fix this real quick. That looks a little better. Uh, but yeah, Aunt Connor kicked his way into the evidence room, found what he needed to get to Jericho. So... I think we're ready to get moving here. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm not going to waste too much time. Uh, there we go. Oh, so we can look around? Oh. Let's play some music, shall we? Nah. What else do we got here? With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. <coughs> Pardon me. And network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. Oh, oh does that mean Russia's going to attack? Oh, look at every. Oh, you can even look in behind. Oh, hi, guys. How are you? Oh, the sweethearts are here. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, wow, you get a full 360. Oh, you can look out the window. They've been uh oh. Raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge. Holy yeah. shit. I guess so. It's going to be all right. We're almost there. Oh, God. All right, so I guess we're making our way to the border, so let's see how uh, close we are. We should be getting pretty close. Wait a minute. We're back in the city. Are we back in Detroit? Oh, man. The thing I need to see here? Not so much. Ooh! Red lights. You can actually see... That's a good texture. You can even see the red in the snow. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. Oh, we're going to Jericho! You absolutely have to be on it. Oh, we get to meet you Marcus. On the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. Fifty bucks. Hell yeah. He lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. I agree. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? Thanks, Mama. And be careful. Mama spaghetti, spaghetti. You make it the best of spaghetti. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. We have a bus to catch. All right. So where are we going here? Oh, that must be it down there. All right, let's go. Hope we don't get caught by the police. This game seems to like to throw shit at us out of nowhere. 
Who's this? Oh, it's Connor! Oh, he's all undercover and shit. Oh, he's gonna follow. There you go. So that was the information we got from the Deviant. Okay, let's do it. Oh man, look at this. That looks so cool. Snow shaders are crazy. Am I missing anything? They like to hide stuff in this game, so I would assume. There's people down this way. Let's go talk. Oh, or we could just fade to black. That's cool too. Oh shit. So are they gonna like kick Alice out? Because she's human? We've gotta find a warm place for Alice. The androids won't do any harm. They're conducting raids across the city. Androids will hang all along the forehead. Oh man. So they're showing all the news and about what's going on with the androids. That's crazy. Is there fire over here? There's fire over here. There you go. Have a seat, girl. See what's going on. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Jeez. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. Ah, oh, we get two of the main characters to meet each other. And Connor's on the way. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Just listen to what the guy's got to say. He's going to punch you in the mouth if you're not careful. He's huge. He'll kill you. Oh, we're all here. First time in the game where all three of us are in the same room. Okay, so let's just go this way. See if we can sneak around. Nope. Oh, yeah, there's the camera angle I wanted. So let's see if we can get underneath her. Oh wow. Does that mean Alice and them are over there? Yep. So where are we going here? Oh! Oh, it's her! You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Oh, did she spot him? Oh no, she's still up here. Okay. Oh, you can see our symbol up there. American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. There you go. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Cromwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. Well, that's good. I was really expecting Russia Why? to just instantly invade. Why did they do it? Why? We've got to avenge our dead. Oh, there he is right there. Hey, Marcus, what's going on, handsome? Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. 
There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. I don't think this place is any safer, to be honest. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. Let's do it. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. Then I need her. It's as simple as that. Well, that's true. I still think she's an android, to be honest. Oh man, alright, so let's go check out the second floor. Maybe there's something we missed. Return to Alice. Fucking knew it. Ha 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 ha. I was right. Because, <laughs> like, with all the information that we've been getting through the game about kids, yeah, exactly. I'm telling you, man. I fucking knew she was an android, too. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? I don't think it's going to change Alice anything. She loves you, Carol. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are. To become what someone needs you to be. You're a wise man, Luther. I'm glad I picked you up on along the way. I don't think anything's gonna change, guys. I honestly don't. Well, I'm gonna make it so that nothing changes. Let me rephrase that. Aw, Alice, you're an android baby. What's up? So do we tell her? Does she even know? I don't even think she'd know, would she? I wouldn't be privy to her. It wouldn't be part of her programming. Kara, is there something wrong? No. No, we're going to stick with the family unit. we got to stay with the family we're unit. Forever, we, Kara? Goddamn right. Yes. My girls! Forever. My girls and my boy. My linebacker of a protector. Yeah. We're staying as a family, guaranteed. Yes! Come on with us, Luther. You're part of the family now, bro. Alright, are we going to Marcus? What's the plan, guys? We need to figure something out. Short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. It's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Oh, you turned around pretty quick. You were like the advocate for this shit at the start. No. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. Agreed. Well put, Marcus. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? 
What do you say to that, Marcus? I think we should be no regrets. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Blue blood and more components is what we need. Um, Dialogue. Yeah, let's talk to the humans. The only way. Oh, she didn't like that. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. I will. I promise. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. I will. All right, let's do this. Oh, all right. So, what's plan number one? They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. Oh shit! I convinced him not to do it. I hope not. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. No. 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 We shouldn't become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by others. I hope you're right. Got something to say? Tomorrow. I want you to know that. I'm glad that I met you. Neutral path unlocked. Okay. All right, what's next on the agenda here? Honor my man. There you are. Being all sneaky sneaky. Uh oh. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Oh Christ, I don't want to. Oh no, they know where it is now. I didn't even have to tell her. They just probed my money, got that information. Oh shit. <laughs> What's up, demon? I've been ordered to take you alive. Oh, this is where shit gets real. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Oh, God. You're coming with me. Oh, let's appeal. 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 We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. RA9 coming in strong. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. God. Don't say anything. I want you to be on our side, Connor. Do you never have any doubts? You've never done something irrational? As if there's something inside you? Come on, Connor, do the right thing. Have you never wondered who you really are? 
Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being, capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Come on. It's time to decide. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Go, baby, go. Come to the good side. Ah, uh, rip down that shit, man. All right. Sweet, so all of our main characters are on the same side now. Sweet. Come on. Come on, Connor. Drop the gun, man. to attack Jericho. Uh oh. Oh, it's already it's right now. Oh, we got to go. We have to get out of here. Shit. Oh god damn it, here we go. Moncari, you know what's going on. Get out of here, girl. Quick, we've got to get out of here. Oh fuck, my boys, my girls, we gotta go. Oh shit, here we go. Go girl, go. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Where is he? There he is, I see him. Go. Oh god. Oh, the stick. Please get out of our way. Come in, quick. What do we do? Oh god. Banker right, banker right. No! Oh, we're not gonna lose Luther, are we? From all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. Send a message to everyone. We gotta get out of here. Second, third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Um. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. Oh fuck! They're coming from the upper deck now too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Oh, we gotta blow up Jericho. We have no. To blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down. They'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. Here we go. Oh, God. Come on, Marcus. Do your job, man. Be the man we need you to be. <gasps> oh, no! This is the end of Jericho. Save our people. I will. I promise it won't be the end. Oh, she's gone. Alright, go time. Let's save our people. Alright, so we gotta hit there. Oh, 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 oh. Watch your step. Oh, shit. Fucking government, I swear to God. It's too late, Cal. Save yourself. Save Alice. No, we're not going to leave you behind. Right, Carl? We can't leave him. No, we can't. I'm sorry. I will. I will not. What are you doing? I won't leave you. Cara, no. Get your ass up. Let's go. We're staying as a family. I just spent five minutes talking about this. Get your ass moving. Family's family, man. Before they come back. What about you? 
What are you going to do? I manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. Oh, man. Hide, 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 hide. Get in here quick. Jesus. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nope, we're okay. We're okay. These are really fast. Damn it. Nope. I got it. Nope, we're under control. Oh. Is she gonna hate me now? God. What are we doing? Okay, go, go, go. They're not looking. Run. Oh, shit. Uh... Get him. We gotta save everyone. Oh, master of the quick time events, bro. We're going the right way? Uh... Yeah, we're going this way. Yep, fuck you guys. Haha, <laughs> you missed, bitches. Alright, hustle. We gotta get to this detonator, like, now. Shit. Oh, here we go. Will this help? Yep. Oh, we're gonna drop a case on them. Right on. Let's do it. Run, boys, run. Oh man, this is tense. I don't want to lose anyone. Josh. Nope, we gotta intervene. There we go. Quick, this way. Find north. I'll join you later. Oh shit. Oh, here we go. Okay. Let's get the girls out, at least. Oh god, run, 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 run. Ah, oh, play dead. Play dead. Let's go. Oh, this is dumb. This is dumb. This is dumb. This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. Ah. Uh... Oh, it's over. They're both dead. They gotta be dead. Come on! Let's get out of here! Oh my fucking god, it worked. <laughs> awesome. Oh, my girl survived. That's good. Oh my god, I was getting terrified there for a second. Quick, we've got to go. This girl's seen some shit. Alright, Marcus, what are we doing? Alright, let's get this done and get out of here. Fuck. Okay. Whoa. Uh, shit. Oh, 
god. Oh god, there's three of them. Damn it. Okay. Oh, I think we're, I think we got this. I think we got this. Oh, that's not good. I was thinking, like, why is he shooting them? He's just gonna kill them, but if he blows the ship up, most everybody's gonna die anyway. Fuck it, why not? Marcus! Bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Let's go. Hustle, hustle, hustle. All in a little behind. That's okay. I think I got this, though. Go, go, go. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, we gotta get her. We gotta get her. There's no choice in the matter. There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run. Nope. We're going. Fuck. I'm glad they're a little bit lenient on these quick time events. Over there! Run! Oh god. Connor, my man, coming to save the day. Fuck! Man, precision pistol shots. Let's go, let's go. Run quick, come on! Everybody's gone. Fuck yeah. So everybody made it out. Wait. Luther didn't make it out. Oh no. Well, I don't know. Maybe if the ship sinks, he can swim out? I don't know. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's an over, Marcus. Yeah, I'm right it isn't over. Holy shit. Okay. Is that end of the scene? Oh, it's given us all three of them this time. Because everybody was in the scene together. Her and Alice escaped Jericho. Nice. That was tense. Marcus fled with his people. Yes, everybody made it out. Safwan, what is up, my friend? Welcome. Can't believe it fucking worked. Oh my god, everybody made it out alive. It, well, we don't know about Lu L Luther yet. Uh, I hope he makes it. His owner. loving father we were happy I was happy and I didn't even know it I just wanted my people to be free but instead all I did was lead them to disaster I am trying to find answers but everything around me keeps falling apart Oh God. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? I miss you, Carl. <laughs> I miss you so much. I wonder what Carl would say. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's the sun. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's not awkward. <laughs> 
Oh shit. Okay. All right, is everybody back together now? Are we all in the same area? I think Al Ellis and Kara got away, so I don't think they're in the group anymore. I think they're off doing their own thing. Oh, is this the new Jericho? I'm glad I pronounced your name right. That's perfect. That makes me feel better. Have you played this game much before? If you did, don't give me spoilers, but let me know if you like the game or not. Uh, who are... Oh, God. So much to do in here. Alright, let's start over on this side. Oh, is that... Is that Connor? Let's talk to him first. I think that's Connor. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is... Your family, bro. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife Tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance. For unlikely events to take place. That's true. Be careful. Okay. Oh, Kara is here. Oh, is that Josh? What's up, Josh? If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Brothers to the end, man. All right, who's next on the list here? Couple more over here. Who's this? Oh, it's North. What's your system status? I'm okay. <laughs> they hit me by components. Sweet. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I'm with you, Marcus. Wherever you go, I go. Good. I'm glad to have you on board, North. I need all the help I can get.
Alright, who's left? Is it just... Uh, who's over there? Ah, uh, here we go. Have a word with him. Glad to see you alive, bro. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. I'm on it. I'm up to the. I really am up to Where the task. To go? I know what needs to be done. We'll follow you. Alright, last one should be Kara. There she is. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. I wish there was something else I could do for them. As Marcus. Marcus. Save our people. RA9. Oh god, here we go. Message to the people. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. March peacefully towards the camps to pressure authorities, launch an all-out assault. Oh uh, no. Oh god, what do I do? The public is sympathetic to our cause. If we attack, it's going to go down. Yeah, we have to. I know. I know you're all angry, and I know you want to fight back, but I assure you violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them, peacefully, that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? I hope it did the right thing, man. Oh, man. That's good. Oh, man. Brought a tear to my eye, man. Alright, so what were the options? Okay, there was only two options there. Go to war or protect from hostile invasion. Okay. That's, we gotta do what we gotta do, man. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Oh God. A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. 
Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please? Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Please! Please! Please? Over here, please? What? Oh! Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Madam President! What's gonna happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Thank you. That will be all. I hope that didn't affect choices later on. I gotta get the girls to that train. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Holy shit, are they actually gonna let him in? That's impressive. You're just like, whoa! So that's cyber life. Okay. I'm assuming androids built that, to be honest. You. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe, but I have my orders. They knew he was coming, for sure. Is there anything I need to know about this place? Because we're going <laughs> to, I have a feeling we're going to need a hasty retreat on this one. Oh, God. What do we do? Agent 23 identified. Agent 77 identified. Scan complete. Access. Oh god, wow! Look at this place. That's fantastic. Oh, are those androids over there? Oh, there's a lot of armed guards here, man. Look at them all, they're just standing there. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. 31, warehouse. 49. Alright, let's do this. Hey! Okay, uh, so before I do this, I'll give you a little bit of a heads up. No way, shape, or form is what I'm going to tell you 
close to what's actually happened, but all three of the main characters met up and Jericho was attacked by the humans. Uh... I won't go too far into detail because you'll probably want to watch it for yourself, Pam, but, uh, yeah. Everyone's still alive, but holy shit. <laughs> so all of the androids ended up reconnecting back at a separate location after Jericho was destroyed, but, yeah, I would suggest once we're done for today, go back and watch it if you can. Because it's it was impressive. Like, Marcus and Kara and Connor were all talking together. So, what ended up happening is at the end of it, Connor and Marcus came up with a plan for Connor to go to Cyberlife and try to liberate thousands of robots. So, that's where we're kind of at right now. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Oh god. I hope this works. Let's do it! Kung Fu Grip! There we go, okay. Connor's now uh, a deviant. He is definitely on their side now. So he's part of the group. They're all one big happy family now. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. And not to mention Kara is... Oh, God. Kara is still trying to get to the border, so I think she's gonna just take off. So I think she's gonna have her own storyline to get in here pretty soon. Well, there you go. Last boss leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. And you'll notice somebody's missing. Are you alright? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. No, we're not gonna do- oh! That should explain itself. They just executed them. Oh, we're taking it with us, just to be sure. I have a feeling only one of us is making it to that train. Yeah, he did. Come on. Let's not stay here. Definitely. Stay close to me. I'm partial to Connor, though. I love so Con Connor's story. I'm going to make it, Alice. I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Let's eat up like rats. Or you look the boy get by. We don't have to spend the night here. Freezing my nuts off. Oh shit. Everywhere. We need to be careful. Come on, get moving. Hurry up, get in. Low risk. Saying low risk. Look over there. It's Luther. 
Oh no! The soldiers are everywhere. We can't just leave them. They're going to kill him. Fuck! What do I do? Ah, let's go. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No, no, please. Oh, this was a bad idea. Fucking androids. I already have a weapon. You're coming with me, bro. Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Car, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. It's the dude from the amusement park. Alice. Luther. I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they called me along the way. We gotta go. We don't have time for this. We're close, but we don't have much time. going as soon as that turns blue. God. Come on, fuck off. Come on, let me go. Okay, I think we made it by without being spotted. A checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time, we could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Choose a route. Uh, detour safer. Checkpoint. Oh god, three minutes? Ah, uh, alright. Wait. Where are we actually going? Detour safer, 11 minutes. How much time do we have left? Oh, we don't have time. Fuck! Alright, we're going in. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, I don't like this. Anything until I say so. ID, please. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? Uh... I'm going to take a bus across the border. Put my daughter someplace safe until things calm down. He suspects something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's sick. A bad flu. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. 
He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. No. <sighs> you dropped this. Oh. You. You're <sighs> Fuck, Luther. You're getting me on edge here. Hey, now we run. <laughs> We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching Ooh, that was crazy. this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. So instead of attacking the humans, we chose to just Something march on the Detroit. main capital and talk, is what we chose. Camera angles are so fucking good. And I'm controlling them too. Whee! Oh, and I can scan the place. So that's where we're going. Everybody's here, man. It's time for humanity to choose what they're gonna do. They could open fire on us at any point too, which is terrifying. Here we are, the moment of truth. Reporters, okay, good. We need them here. Spread the word if something happens. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We are here to demand the immediate liberation of all androids detained in camps across the country. We are not leaving until our people are free. Be firm. Oh god, we gotta keep- oh shit. Oh no. Fire! Oh God. So uh, the only thing I could think of. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? We need the public support here. Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away, and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Josh Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out as long as we can. Okay, hey, now we're back to Connor. Okay, let's see what he can do for... Oh my god. Shit. Oh 
Oh god. Uh Yes! <laughs> you fucking awesome bastard. Uh Okay, we're good. We're good. How do we do that? They're all the same. Break through, man. Step back, Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Fuck. Oh, no. Oh. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. Okay, that sucks and is terrible. What do we do? Marcus. I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Well, let's go then. family but they're rich they can be okay I'm sorry oh my god I am so sorry I was Shit, sure I don't believe it I don't know what happened you kind of lost them did you have a good look in your bag they were in my backpack the envelope must have fallen fuck excuse me you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere did you it has our bus tickets in it, and oh, never mind. Nope. No. Sorry. Oh. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry. No. I don't on, know what Alice. happened. They were right here in my bag. I... Oh, sorry. Let's go. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. <sighs> sorry, I just, I, uh, I'm sure there was another way, but no. They'll be fine, they're human. No. No, of course not. Just get on the fucking bus, Alice, I swear to God.
We had to do what we had to do, Kara. There's nothing we could have done about it. Okay, they're out of harm's way. Okay. Finish the barricade. Come on, help me. All right, hey, let's... help me. R2, L2, yeah, let's push it. Oh, this is getting tense. That should do it. We all know that's not going to stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Good. Okay, as long as you're with me, Josh, I'm happy because you're the opinion that matters most to me out of all these guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a callback from earlier on in the game. The lighting of the barrels and the portrayal of hope. So where else are we going here? There's a lot of shit to do here. Let's light these barrels up, I think. Make sure it's well lit for the cameras to catch what's about to happen here, because that ain't gonna go good. Who's this? Oh, it's Hope. Or er, North, I guess. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. I lost all contact with the people of the camps. I can't hear their voices anymore. Maybe the humans have scrambled our network. Maybe they just can't get through. I hope they would finally understand. That they would realize how much they're hurting us. Why do they refuse to see what we are? They're scared. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. What else do we got to do here? Many of our people have fallen. Well, we knew that was coming. Come on, Neil. The humans have no pity for those who are different. All right, so we got to send a message to. Is that everything we gotta do? Okay, there's another one up here. Who's this? Oh, that's Ho that's uh, North again. Okay, we'll come back to you in a second. There's other things I wanna do. Marcus, we found what you asked for.
I think I'm gonna finish it like right now I think as far as I'm concerned yeah might have to get a cup of coffee here soon there's some journalists over there we have to make sure they know what's going on Support your people. That's probably given a speech up here. And what was the other one? Check soldier's position. Okay, let's do that next. That'd be this one over here. Marcus? Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. Ah! I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? Do it right in front of the cameras, man. That'd be perfect. That would support That's our cause. I'll have to take. charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. Repurposed, I bet. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. You could be free, Marcus. To live among the humans. I agree. You could have what you've always dreamed of. The lives of your people. Freedom for you. All you have to do is say the word. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. I'm not making it back to that barricade, am I? Oh, I am. Okay. I really thought I was going to get shot in the back before I even got there. Where are the what did he say? The humans are about to launch an attack. We will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Fuck 
here we go. Whose life is in your hands? Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. Fuck, I don't want no. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Enough talk. It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? <sighs> all right. You win. Oh god, I think. Oh, please. Fight time. Let's go, bitch. I'm the real Connor, motherfucker. No, fuck. Okay, good. Yep, we're good. No, okay. Yep, okay, we're getting better. Oh, God, thank God it's only between. No, fuck. Ow. Hold it. Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. Fuck. The other is a sack of shit. The question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Uh, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... Uh-oh. Oh, God. My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. That's what happened. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death? Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Every time you died and came back, I thought about Cole. How much I wanted to bring him back. I'd have given anything to hold him again. But humans don't come back. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Fuck, I love you, Hank. Bromance continues. <laughs> Let's go save the fucking world. It's time. We gotta get Marcus's backup, man. Wake 
up. Wake up, 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 wake up. We're coming, Maricus. They're not safe. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. Oh god, this just keeps getting worse. Uh, we pardon you for the analyze of your voyage. Oh shit! We're controlling all. Okay. Checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Clara? She's gonna be safe because she has a temperature because she's a robot that's designed to do the that. got to be another way. Okay, there's one over there, one over there, and one over there. Going. My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. Fuck. Oh, I don't like this. Something's gonna go wrong. I'm gonna fuck it up. gonna happen. I'm so glad you're safe. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Thank God you're all right.
They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. Rose. Delighted to have you. We're going there too. You'll be safe with him. Hit me in the feels, bro. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. What's happening with Marcus? He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. Go time. What are we gonna do? I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. <sighs> I was worried he was going to cause something. Let's do this. Oh, fuck me, right? Uh... Next, please. No problems, Am Ampy. Don't worry about it. ID, please. See you on the other side, guys. Oh, thank God. Oh, that was intense. 
We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the deviants' demonstration by force this time. I had my hand off the controller for that one. That was close. No! Keep that to yourself for just uh, just until I finish this. Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w w wait a minute. Something's happening. Just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be He's got some pipes right. on him. Fight on just a little while longer. Fight on. We're trying to buy time for Connor to get here. are singing Stand down. It looks like... Yes, the military is withdrawing. <sighs> At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands 
of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. Everyone's alive! <laughs> I can't believe I made it through with everybody alive. Fuck. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We've suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. No. Uh oh. Amanda? Amanda? What's. What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! You better give me a chance to fight back. Got to be away. That backup pad, the backup pad. Emergency exit, good, thank you. Come on, Connor, please. Is this it? This seems to be the only way. Oh fuck, don't you dare game. I swear to god I will uninstall you immediately. Come on, come on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow <clears throat> we must make them our partners. Maybe even one of <sighs> our friends. But the time for anger is over. 
Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now we are free. I can't believe everybody's still alive. I didn't think it was going to happen. Please tell me there's something between Connor and Hank. Oh, God. Beautiful game. Beautiful game. My god. That was amazing. So what you guys think? That that blew my mind. Oh man. I, oh. Who even knows what to say to something like that? Brilliant game. Beautiful acting. CGI was fantastic. Storyline. Story arcs between characters and the society. Perfect. Flawless. I I want reconciliation between Hank and Connor. It ended too quickly in my opinion. There's gotta be something else at the end of this. My god. Best investigative game I've ever played. Like cyberpunk style, like amazing, like brilliant. Like him, even yeah, like the face capture and all these guys was brilliant. Oh yeah, definitely. No, this is a Telltale game for sure. Just wondering if there's anything else at the end. Oh man, the part when Marcus crawled out of the dumpster and fixed himself with all the different android pieces was fucking brilliant. I hope so. DLC for this game is a necessity. I tried to go so long without watching videos on this just to keep myself entertained and not like spoil the story and now I can finally watch everyone else's playthroughs. Every time I finish my playthrough I go watch a playthrough of somebody else so I know what the other endings are. Oh definitely. Like the second Connor saw all the other Kara robots was... It was an eye-opener, because there must have been only about 60 different character models for this, but they kept reusing them over and over, which makes sense, and usually that's a way for the game to be able to kind of hide its indiscrepancies, but in this it makes sense, like it uses it to its advantage, because yeah, of course there'd only be a certain amount of guys. Like, man, and the notes that they left throughout the game kind of coincided, and I was really expecting uh, Russia to attack. I really was. I was thinking Russia was going to come in, wreck the states, and set up for a second game. But apparently they were having the same issues as before. And whenever Marcus goes to see his uh, owner's fucking grave and the son is there and the son's like, oh shit, and he just walks away. I, that was a powerful moment in itself too. I gotta find out who these guys are.
Yay! This is what I was hoping for. They need their own game. They need their own game. I want their own game. All I asked for. All I wanted. Each character has their own soundtrack. Oh, that's sick. Well, I've officially gotten everything I wanted out of that. So I think we can skip this part. All right, so because of that, I think what we're gonna do is, is that it? Androids woke up. Group crossed the border. Androids won freedom of their mo for their movement. I think. This is the complete ending. There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. Yeah, I to one point. This place and and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? Of course. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. So does that mean she's just not in the menu anymore? She went like, no matter how many times I restart the game, she's just never there anymore. She's gone. Oh man, that's sick. All right. So I think what I'm going to do now is before we end this, I'm going to see if I can bring up a video on YouTube for us to watch how this game was made. That's what I think we should do right now. I watched a little bit of it the other day, and I think the video would be probably a good idea. So just bear with me, guys, while I get this figured out. All right, one second. Uh, let's do... Yeah, so give me a second, guys. Let's do... Uh, editor. Let's add... this one sec. Let's see if I can add this on. Um... Oh, fuck off. Let me just... I just want to bring up a window capture is all I want. Oh, just... Can I just not do it? Okay, I might have to switch over to this one. Alright, give me a second, guys. Uh, let us... Oh, can I not add an extra scene when I'm doing this? Oh, that fucking blows. Okay, we'll just have to switch something over. Okay, so video capture device, we're going to switch this. Switch this over to... How are we going to do this so that we can watch this together? Pyro, what's up, my friend? Yeah, we just finished it. Yeah, it's a fucking great game. Let's see if I can just maximize this. Maybe it'll let me do it. Won't let me add another source. Hmm. How am I going to be able to show you guys the video without fucking this up too much? Maybe I can't do it when I'm fucking live. 
All right, give me one second, guys. Uh, don't go anywhere. Stay on this live stream because I'm only going to be shutting it down for a split second, okay? So just bear with me, okay? Be right back. All right, let's try this. All right, let's see if I can get this set up for you guys. Maybe we can get it done. Okay, so how do I pause the music in the game? Oh, fuck you would. Okay, maybe it won't let me. Don't be a dick. Um, let's just turn you off. Let's see if that works. You fucker, you would. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to see if I can set this up somehow, so just give me a moment. Uh, settings, editor, display capture. Let's pop that down. I'm just trying to figure out how I can turn the music off in the game without fucking thing. Uh, blep. There we go. Just do this. Uh, power, turn off PS4. There we go. Okay, two seconds. Okay, let, let me know if you guys can't hear this. Detroit Become Human was uh, produced over a period of four years. Here in Paris, we have a team of about 180 people. And to that, we need to add also all the outsourcing with our partners in the Philippines, in China, Vietnam, and in India. So when we started working on this story, I had to um, imagine where Kara was built. And um, for whatever reason, the Can you hear this? city of Detroit came very quickly to my mind because it had already an incredible story by itself of uh, history and themes. So we traveled there with a the team and we were really moved by what we saw. Let me know if you guys can hear this. Feel the desire to fight and, and really uh, be born again. And we just continued this curve, this growth, and just imagine what Detroit would be like if the Android industry was, um, you know, using these huge factories to build Androids there. A very strong element in Detroit is that there's a lot of industrial wasteland and a lot of nature too. And for us, the graphic designers, it was an incredible playground. The destroyed zones which we wanted to preserve, we appropriated them to turn into something else. Then in the areas that needed to be rebuilt, we were able to imagine our Detroit of the future. We didn't want to make a science fiction universe, but a world of anticipation. If we chose science fiction, we could have imagined flying cars, extraterrestrials, but those things are very far from our current everyday life. Anticipation is more about gleaning from our contemporary reality. Is that Marcus's voice? Because Detroit is set in 2038, and 2038 is tomorrow. The difficulty we had was sticking to reality. That is to say, technology becoming more and more invisible, a lot more elegant, and at the same time, making it visual. So all the computer equipment, autonomous cars, we simply had to invent. They are in fact very technological objects, but at the same time remain very credible and ingrained in reality. <laughs> to create a cohesive universe in the fashion and clothing of the human characters in 2038, I didn't want to put an accent on strange shapes or really vibrant colors and things we wouldn't know. That I wanted to keep for the androids. The goal was to create something familiar which we can identify with in this future setting. Fuck, this game was amazing. Working on the artistic direction for the androids was a bit special because this is a project about the place they could occupy in the human world. It was out of the question for them to be too beautiful or too perfect. They had to correspond to every social class, rich and poor. Inspired by everyday utilitarian clothes, I brought a modern touch by adding dynamic display surfaces, the armband we can see on the side, the triangle on the front and back, and LED. Like that, there's no confusion. Wait. You're just an android? All right, ma'am. We need you, to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Once we cast the actors, we travel to meet them in order to scan their faces. 
We record the there he is, the with the handsome Hank. And we record the colors and patches of skin with photography. Once we have this information, we will use this as a basis for modeling and creating the characters. The artist will make it more realistic, but will also enrich it. He will propose ideas which we will develop together. Finally, we will have a character with character who corresponds to the project in the world. Oh, there's North. When the actors come to Quantic Dream, we show them the design, what their image will be, and what they will look like in the game. This extra information gives them another dimension and color to connect with emotionally. It helps them think about how to play their character. Your mission. That's all you care about, huh? You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. So there are three types of shoots at Quantic Dream. Shooting that is a fantastic capture, mustache. Where you capture the whole actor, his voice, his face, and his body. These shoots are obviously done with American actors because the game's original version is in American English. After that, there are the body-only shoots, representing around 250 days of filming, while the performance capture is 100 days of filming. Now, body-only shoots, there are two types. There are the action shoots and the technical shoots, which are mokit shoots. Mokit is when the player controls a character on the screen, and he moves in an environment to explore it. This is of particular importance at Quantic Dream, and therefore we shoot a lot to offer a unique context for each scene and each character. To prepare a motion capture shoot, we first get together to look at the sets we need, the animations that we want to shoot, which ones need to be grouped together, or which ones need to be cut and shot at another time, so that we get the most out of the shooting day. This often means shooting scenes out of order, especially those with big props or accessories, like a big car, for example. So we shoot all the animations related to that particular prop first. The biggest challenge for the mocap team was shooting a Spider-Man mo-kit. We had to build a wall and attach an actor to a harness with cables so we could pull him up and render him climbing. The shooting on this game total took about, I would say, more than a year, maybe one and two years, with about 300 actors on, on set. So I would say it's quite a massive production. But so much happened. That is crazy. Between the stunts and the shootings with the Oh, Aw, that's so cute. And, and all the, these great actors that we had, it was really a, a very, very memorable journey. All oh, those guys, they the work so hard for a fucking awesome game. Oh, bonjour, salut, mon ami, wee wee poo poo. When we retrieve the motion capture data, it's just a cloud of points, which represent all the markers worn by the actors. From this cloud of points, we have a phase called retargeting, which gives us a skeleton. This skeleton will be applied to the characters of the game. There is still work to be done, but this gives us the main movements. Since we are working on something very realistic, we must recognize the actor and also recover all the emotion he expresses in his performance. We use a system of facts, an identity card for each actor. We make the actor do a whole range of facial expressions. Then we recover all the expressions and paste the animations on a puppet that Jan has prepared. I then recover and refine these poses. I might stretch the lip, reinflate a cheek, tiny details that make the finished product really capture the actor. Amazing. Because of the nature of our mocap system today, when we receive the animations, we're missing eye movements. And so the character has that dead look. Of course. He really has no eyes, so then it's a big part of the work for the animators to find the regard of the actor in relation to his position, in relation to the body, etc. It guys did a fantastic fucking job. Oh, it's Kara! I saw the newest model for Kara, because they've been working on it and working on it, and this was the first time I literally jumped in my seat. It not only looked so much like me, Hi, girl. You're amazing. the fact that it looked so lifelike. It wasn't that it looked just like it was a camera, it was something else, you know, but it looked alive. It's exciting, and it's kind of terrifying. <laughs> game after game, we learned the rules of, of optics and, and filming. And uh, our goal with Detroit Become Human was to have cameras 
that would actually emulate the optics of a real physical camera. So basically dealing with uh, real-world imperfections was our main task, and uh, just to make cameras look as real as we can. Once the animations are shot and processed by the animation department, integrated and polished, we film them. That is to say, we really do a mise-en-scene, as in cinema. The real difficulty of our job is to know if these cameras are telling us something. Are they in the emotion of the scene? Do they describe exactly what the action must convey, what must be felt? The most important challenge for me was one of the final scenes where Marcus decides to start the revolution and go to the battlefield. Very quickly, we imagine this to be a huge sequence shot. We wanted the feeling of a cameraman running behind us while showing Marcus, the androids who help him, the person shooting at us, etc. Above all, it was necessary that didn't happen in our playthrough. We went the other way. Violent, but does not glorify war. On the contrary, that war is something improbable and absurd. It was really a fun challenge. The idea was to say we have three characters. We would like each of them to have a specific cinematography. We wanted Kara to be much more film with some kind of handheld camera to have something very uh, leaving. Maybe, and, uh, someday, I would Connor, like that. We wanted something very cold and very perfect. And for Marcus, we wanted something epic and spectacular. So it was about the, the filming, but it was also about the photography. So we worked with a, with a director of photography to give each character a different lighting, different key colors. Each of them would have their own worlds. And finally, we worked with the composers so they would create a specific sound for each character, so each would have his own world and his own style. Wow. That's impressive. So there you go, guys. So there's a little uh, inkling on how this game was actually made, which is frigging amazing. I'm actually quite impressed with this game. So yeah, maybe we will do a couple of more playthroughs. I don't know. Like uh, that's pretty much the end of the uh, what I consider to be the perfect ending, I would imagine. But what do you guys think? Do you think I should do another playthrough? I I'm more than willing to do it if people are going to be interested. Yeah, I know, Pam. It's fucking amazing. But uh, yeah, so the only thing I can really say is, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this little adventure. If you guys haven't seen the full playthrough, please go ahead and have a look at uh, all of the creative works for this game. We did a full playthrough on it. It's I think it's split up into six parts. So, yeah, I know. Yay! But anyways, guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to see more, make sure to hit me up in the comments below. Uh, let me know what game you want to play next. We may do a little E3 uh, thing sometime later on the week where we decide, do a bad playthrough. I might actually do it, just where we do the, the war side of things. Yeah, because the game is not over in my opinion. So yeah. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next live stream. All right, peace out, guys. Time to play the game. Time to play the game. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Time to play the game!